Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what does your person see in the future for you and them? What does your person see in the future for you and them? So whoever it is that your person is, whoever it is that you're connecting to in love, just think about that person right now and let's see what messages we get. might be connecting with a Leo for some of you because the sun showed itself right now. The sun card. All right, let's get uh, two shuffles. First card we have for you, Capricorn, is the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Strength card. And here we have Leo again. Could also be um, an Earth sign like yourself, Capricorn, or it could be Virgo or Taurus. But um, it can be any sign, okay? Alright, what does this person see in the future? Well, they see struggles here, right? Because we have the strength card, which can represent um, difficulties. Uh, um, problems or issues that create struggles. Uh, and we do have the seven of pentacles, which also can be a difficult card here of having to... Um, work really hard for something having to struggle to to achieve something and we have the eight of pentacles which is which is also a card of working hard so this person this person feels like this relationship is going to require a lot of hard work a lot of maybe sacrifice or compromises here um, i don't know if it's on their part or if it's on your part capricorn but um, I get a little bit of a pessimistic energy coming from this person. Like, it's almost like, you know, they're not really sure that the potential is there for you, for you and them to be successful together. Um, they might feel like it's going to require too much work um, than, than it should in a relationship. It shouldn't be that difficult, you know. <clears throat> yeah and I mean the strength card is here so it's not like they're giving up right now but I they feel like they might give up in the future they feel like it might become too too heavy for them too much responsibility um, too much energy um, needed Yeah, so let's look a little bit deeper here. Let's expand on these cards and clarify, um, starting with Seven of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify Seven of Pentacles, please. Okay, first card is the Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So this person feels like it's going to be hard for you and them to be on the same page for some reason, because we have the Five of Swords, which represents um, two people that 
can't seem to get on the same page. They have difficult under difficulty understanding each other, um, comprehending each other. Um, their their opinions tend to be very different, or their perspective of things tend to be very different, and so it's hard to to come to an agreement. You know. Um, Values might be also different with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, and we have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this person maybe is being unrealistic, you know, because this is like a fairy tale um, proposal here of love. And maybe I feel like this person, it, roles can be reversed, by, by the way, can be switched. So just take it as it resonates. But this person might be thinking of, you know, romance and love like like in the movies, you know. And, you know, it might it might not be a realistic um they might want some sort of gesture of love and romance here uh every day, you know. They want to feel special every day. Um I think this may be a very emotional person here. Um, also very romantic, perhaps. Um, uh, they need a lot of uh, uh, care and um, demonstrations of care and of love. Um, they need to feel special and like it, it's like they might need it every day, you know. And that might create issues here with the Five of Swords. Um, because they're probably not going to get it every day, you know, Capricorns are not particularly um, a romantic sign. I mean, they can be romantic, but it's not generally a, um, a romance type of zodiac sign. Uh, you know, not like Libra or um, Taurus, Cancer. They tend to be more romantic. Um, you know, even Leos, actually, can be very, very romantic. So, um, like I said, you might be dealing with a Leo. So, it's like, you know, they might be asking too much from you, Capricorn. And, um, you know, you two are going to be in disagreement over, you know, what this person expects from you and what you can give them, you know. Um, it's like you two are not really on the same page like i said all right let's clarify seven of pentacles spirit tell me more about the seven of, i mean the eight of pentacles tell me more about the eight of pentacles We have the death card here. We also have the world card. Okay, two cards that represent endings here. What else? And we have the king of swords. Wow. Yeah, so like I said, this is definitely a very negative outlook here with two cards, death and the world, representing endings. I think this person feels like eventually there's going to be an ending between you two. And the King of Swords represents, uh, you know, cutting something out of your life, um, being very cold about it. Um, so I feel it's almost like someone went from being very emotional to being very cold, you know. So you might be dealing with someone whose emotions can go, um, can change very drastically, okay. Um, so I feel like this person is going to get, they're going to be f sad in at first. At first they're going to be sad, then they're going to be angry, and they're going to be holding a grudge here, Um and yeah, they're the eight of pentacles. It's like they don't want to, they don't want to keep putting so much work into this. They feel like they're putting too much work 
and they want something more easier, more fairy tale like, more more like the movies, you know. All right, let's clarify strength. Hey Spirit, tell me more about the strength card. Thank you. And we have the chariot, the knight of wands, and the hangman. Yeah, so this person wants to be chased, by the way. Um, that's what it's... The chariot means that this person's going to walk away. They're going to move forward with their life. They're going to feel like this is too much of a struggle. Um, and then the Knight of Wands, it does show that they might be playing a little bit of a game here. They might be telling you that they're walking away just to see if you um, chase after them, you know. And the hangman means I feel like th they're going to be waiting for you, waiting to see if you come after them and chase them, okay? Because I think this is what this person wants. They want to feel like they're receiving attention from you, okay? Yeah, it, th this person might be someone who likes to create conflict on purpose, you know? Just to, to get a reaction out of you, okay? All right, Capricorn, I'm going to end the reading here. So I hope this resonated. If I hope it connected with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Capricorn. Take care.